Hey, what's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. And today I want to talk to you about the things that you should consider before having a photo booth rental at your event. Today I want to tell you about some of the things that you may not have thought about before considering a photo booth and these are really things that you guys should think about if you're planning on having a photo booth either at your wedding, corporate event, or private party. So photo booths come in a bunch of different varieties and form factors and you really need to think about your venue. Is it going to be outdoors? Is it going to be indoors? How much space? Uh, is it a pretty cramped space where you need to have a small footprint? So you need to kind of come up with where you want your photo booth to be, uh, how much area you're going to allow for the photo booth because you're going to have the photo booth head, you're going to have a backdrop, you're going to have a prop table. So depending on the type of event and the pace and the flow of events, you want to consider these different factors before choosing the type of photo booth, let alone the photo booth company that you're going to go with. Now the photo booth size is going to be really dependent on the type of photo booth. So they have 360 booths where you're going to have to have at least probably like a 15 by 15 foot area. You're going to have to have a nice backdrop in an area as the photo booth spins around to take the pictures. You're going to really think about this. You're going to got to have a bunch of different lighting. So it really depends on the photo booth and what you guys have going on. Now with our photo booths, we use what is called an open air system. So that way we have a pillowcase backdrop. Then we have a photo booth head and then we have an attendant that's going to be making sure that the photo booth is run properly. And then we're going to have a table that has some different props on it. Now there are two what I call different types of photo booth uh, user experiences that I like to have. There is one that's like a salsa booth that is more of an iPad photo booth in a nice case. You go up to it yourself, you do all the instructions yourself, it doesn't come with an attendant, and usually it's self-managed. And then you have what we call an open air photo booth where we have a podium with the big head that will have either probably a DSLR, sometimes they'll have uh, iPads in there, and it'll actually come with a tendon to make sure that the printing is done properly, because when the printer runs out of paper, it's not something that the average person can fix. So it's gonna need to have an attendant running the photo booth, making sure that uh, the lighting is done right, the flash is set properly, we have proper power, and that the printing is set up properly and show you how to reprint and retake photos as the event is going on. Now, one of the benefits of doing a open air photo booth versus a uh, iPad photo booth is printing. Usually the iPad photo booths are really great for digital props and having the pictures being sent to your social media instantly, but not getting a print. Now with our open air photo booths, they have a printer on site so that people, this way people can go through the photo booth, get their photo taken and be able to take a two by six strip home with them and put them up on their refrigerator. Now with our photo booth, you can choose what size of prints you want. Most people get the two by six strips, but you can also order four by six strips where you guys get to pick out a custom template for your guys' photo booth. So it just really depends on what all you guys want and the different varieties for your guys' particular taste, depending on the type of event that you guys are having. But nine times out of 10, people are gonna get the two by six strips. When you're booking an event with us, we'll send you to a website where you guys can customize your own photo booth strip. So you'll pick out a template, we'll go in there and we'll change the name, the date, or any information that you would like us to add to it. Some people want to add like a QR code, so that way when they take the strip home, they can find their photos later on. So it really just depends on your event. When it comes to choosing a type of photo booth, you really gotta think about do you have younger guests that are more tech savvy or are you having a photo booth for a wedding where you have uh, you know, grandmas, aunts and uncles that are a little bit older and they can't figure out the technology of the photo booth. So something like uh, iPad or salsa booth, you're gonna have to walk up to it. You're gonna have to enter in information, press different buttons to get the photo booth working. But if you use one of our open air photo booths, you just walk up, you'll have an attendant there, they'll guide you, they'll tell you where to stand and they'll control the photo 
photo booth for you, do all the printing, the retakes, if you want black and white, or if you want different filters on it. And they're gonna make sure that everything is working smoothly. So it's just a better customer experience and it's a lot higher quality than something like an iPad photo booth. So with our company, all of our photo booths do come with an attendant. We will show up about an hour to two hours beforehand, depending on when the photo booth is going to start. Once the photo booth opens, we'll get on the microphone, let everybody know that the photo booth has opened. This is usually for like cocktail hour, after dinner, and a dance party, depending on what type of event that you're having. And the operator is really there to make sure that everything runs smoothly, make sure none of the props go running off at the event. If you guys wanna do any reprints or retakes, our operators are there to make sure that your event runs smoothly and there's no hiccups. So one of the benefits of having an open air photo booth versus like a iPad photo booth is their DSLR cameras. They're gonna have flash photography. So the image quality is gonna be a lot higher and we're gonna have on-site printing. So as soon as they go through the photo booth within seven seconds, it's gonna print on a strip and they'll get to take a two by six strip home with them that they can put up on their refrigerator. And this is really important for a lot of guests because this is something that they can actually take away from your guys' wedding to remember the event. Once the photo booth is all over and we go home, we will upload the photos online and then we can send you a digital link so that way you can get the high quality photo of all the people that went through the photo booth. Now this is not the photo strip, but actually a four by six print of everybody that went through your guys' photo booth. So when it comes to events, we ask that we have a dedicated circuit for the photo booth that we're not sharing with anybody. Now, if your event is outdoors and there is no power, then we do have a battery power generator that we can use to run the photo booth. So we're not limited to the different situations. So we've done many events that were outdoors where they didn't have power nearby. And we can make sure that, you know, we have a solution for you depending on the type of event and where you're putting the photo booth. So we are not limited to a power outlet. All our photo booths come with props, hats, and signs. Now, if you guys want to have a themed event and you want to request some props, we can make sure to take care of that for you. So it really just depends on the type of event that we have. We're not gonna bring wedding props to a corporate event, to you know a birthday party, a bar mitzvah. So it really just depends on what type of event you're having and the prop request that you guys are asking for. Now when it comes to backdrops, our backdrops are an eight by eight, what they call a pillowcase style. So it looks nice and smooth, there's no wrinkles. So we need to make sure that we have a height of eight feet, at least eight feet wide to set up our backdrop. We like to make sure that this is set up against a wall because this can become a kite if it gets a nice gust of wind. We will sandbag the uh, backdrop down so it doesn't you know, sway back and forth. But if possible, we like to set this up against a wall and you guys have the ability to choose a bunch of different backgrounds depending on what you guys select for your guys's template and the theme that you guys are going for so if you guys have any more questions about our photo booth don't hesitate to reach out my name is alex with dj cut entertainment thank you guys for watching this video